No, that's false. Tom Hanks was never the first choice of Steven Spielberg over Robin Williams for his $300 million movie. Steven Spielberg's 1981 film, Hook, is regarded as the best adaptation of J.M. Barry's Peter and Wendy. The film presented a different take on the children's fairy tale and provided a different experience than the other iterations. A popular rumor suggested that Tom Hanks was the first choice for the role of an older Peter Pan. However, the Philadelphia actor clarified that the story is different. Hook focuses on the story of a lawyer played by the late Robin Williams, who learns that he is the older Peter Pan. When his kids are kidnapped by Captain Hook as revenge, he goes back to Neverland and joins forces with the Lost Boys and Julia Roberts Tinkerbell. Steven Spielberg's iteration of the fairy tale initially divided the audiences but became a cult classic moving forward. Was Tom Hanks the first choice to play Peter Pan in Hook? The late Robin Williams aced the role of a grown-up Peter Pan. His performance makes us believe that only the rarest of the stars can handle the role of boy who wouldn't grow up so seamlessly as him. His transition from the workaholic lawyer in the city to become Peter Pan once again is still talked about among the fans. Tom Hanks is also one of the top names in Hollywood with innumerable prestigious accolades to his name. A popular rumor suggested that the Saving Private Ryan actor was the first choice over Robin Williams for Hook. However, when the two-time Oscar winner visited the Happy Sad Confused podcast, he shared with host Josh Horowitz that it was false information. Horowitz, Spielberg, who of course you eventually worked with, he first wanted you to play Peter Pan in Hook. True or false? Do you remember? Hanks? No, that's false. The rumor might have risen because Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks have been notable collaborators. The Indiana Jones director initially served as co-executive producer in 1986's The Money Pit and 1990's Joe vs. The Volcano. Later he eventually directed Hanks in Saving Private Ryan, Catch Me If You Can, The Terminal, Bridge of Spies, and The Post. Hook was appreciated by everyone especially for the performances of Robin Williams and Dustin Hoffman as Peter Pan and Captain Hook. According to the numbers, the film earned an impressive box office figure of $300 million. Steven Spielberg initially planned Hook as a musical. Steven Spielberg originally envisioned Hook as a full-fledged musical. According to Screen Rant, the legendary composer John Williams, who gave music to the 1991 children's classic, wrote numerous songs with lyricist Leslie Bricusi which were planned to be incorporated in the film. Only the instrumental versions of several of these songs could make it to the final cut. While speaking to The Guardian, Spielberg shared that after the first week of production, he decided not to move in the direction of a musical. According to him, it just didn't seem right, for some reason unknown to him. I chickened out after the first week of shooting and took all the songs out. It was the biggest paradigm shift I've ever had while directing a movie. It just didn't seem right for some strange reason. Maybe I didn't feel ready to do a musical. It is difficult to imagine Hook differently. It can be agreed that the path taken by Steven Spielberg led to an impressive feat. From the production value, casting, and performances, to the delightful score by John Williams, it is commendable. Although Spielberg has stated in several interviews that he did not enjoy making Hook, the cult following of the film tells a different story.